This is the red girl. Our little huntress. She was just outside playing, so she's a little damp. Stand in there to work on it. Let me have that. Good job. Good job taking your treat so gently, using your tongue and your lips and not your teeth. So she told me that time that she she feels strongly about this chew. She didn't want it taken away. So we're just gonna work on that response so that she feels good about having it taken away. I know it's probably the most valuable thing you've ever had. <laughs> Whoa, you startled me, my goodness. My goodness, you feel strongly about that, huh? <laughs> you silly thing. Notice how her responses are getting a little bit uh, calmer about it. She's still telling me how she feels, but she also is starting to expect that something good is going to happen when I take it away. And giving it right back to her also reassures her too that there's really nothing to worry about. So the puppy in the crate next door is crying just a smidge while she's, he's working on his bone. Is it hard? I know. See how she's no longer growling, she's no longer snapping, she's no longer trying to fight to keep it. That's exactly the type of progression we expect to see when they're this young. Uh, again, when they're adult dogs, we have to treat resource guarding much more cautiously and go much slower. This is all about changing how they feel about having things that they treasure taken away.
and I want them to feel good. I want them to know that if something good is being taken away, they can expect something better. Now she actually glanced up towards me like, hey, are you going to take it away? So I know that we're on the right track here. See how she's looking around expectantly for her treat? The puppy next door is uh, chewing on his bone while he's crying. moved my hand in slower that time, basically giving her time to target my hand, but she knew that she didn't need to, that my hand was going to come in, take that away, give her something good, and return her chewy to her. Here, let me take your prize. Good job. She's also being very gentle in how she's taking her treats, which is the other part of the lesson I wanted to work on. When your puppy comes armed with a fistful of daggers, you'll be thankful when they've started to learn how to be gentle with them. With my adult dogs, I do like to teach them a cue for this. So I would give them their thing that they want. Let's say I'm getting ready to take it away. I would say, can I have that? Then take it away and present them something good. And that way, that would be a cue. Let's say we were out on a walk and my dog picked up something questionable that could be dangerous to him. I could say, what do you have? Can I have that? And they know that they're going to get something good, so they'll be happy to trade it for me rather than trying to run off and play a game of keep away or swallow it really fast before I can get there and potentially be very dangerous. So I'll be. this will be last repetition with this puppy because she's doing a really good job with it. Which is good because you tried to shark at me a little bit ago, but you figured it out. You're a clever one. <laughs> 